Hey guys, it's Emily from Heart My Body Fitness, and today I'm going to review four paleo bars. These are four bars that literally say on their packaging, paleo, paleo inspired, or paleo approved. So I'm going to tell you their nutritional facts, what's in them, and then I'll taste them and let you know what I think of both their taste and their texture. Before we get to the reviews, if you liked today's video, I would love for you to share it out with your friends and of course, subscribe to my channel. Subscribing to my channel lets me know that you want more videos like this one. I'm putting out new videos every Monday, and if you subscribe, then you will ensure that you never miss a Monday. I wanna note that I'm doing a lot of reviews, and I did a review a little while back of vegan protein bars or meal replacement bars or whatever you wanna categorize it as. It was a lot harder for me to find bars in the paleo category, I'm guessing because a lot of the bars that you see on the shelves have oats, have sugar, have peanuts. A lot of what you'll see in other bars at the grocery store is that there's ingredients that simply can't apply to a paleo diet. That said, we'll see how we like these four bars and let's hop right in. The first bar is the Primal Kitchen Dark Chocolate Almond Bar made with whoa, grass-fed collagen. It has 15 grams of protein. It says that it is gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, 8,500 milligrams of collagen in this puppy, three grams of sugar, and it is paleo approved. The serving size is one bar. There are 230 calories per bar, 148 calories from fat. The total fat is 15 grams. Saturated fat is four grams. Trans fat is zero grams. Carbohydrates come in at 14 grams. Dietary fiber, six grams. Sugars, three grams, protein, 15 grams. So the packaging says that every bite of food you eat should be delicious and healthful. The founder or creator of Primal Kitchen did this to make healthy eating easy and exciting, no more sacrificing flavor for health and no offensive ingredients allowed. Well, I am not offended by you and let's see if we're offended by the ingredients. Here we go. Almonds, pumpkin seeds, grass-fed hydrolyte, hyd hydrolyzed collagen, prebiotic fiber, coconut flakes, honey, natural flavors, I don't know what that means, water, coconut oil, unsweetened chocolate, organic fair trade cocoa powder, cocoa nibs, Himalayan pink salt, monk fruit extract, tocopherols, hazelnuts, macadamia nuts, and cashews. Okay, here we go. Very chewy, there's a lot to chew. There's a lot happening in this. There's like a boatload of nuts in here almost. There's now a lot going on in my teeth, so I'm gonna need some floss for sure. The texture is interesting because there are big chunks of actual like almonds and stuff in here. Um, so it's a lot to chew and also whatever is holding all of it together is kind of like sticky and chewy. It's, it's just a lot. This wouldn't be one that I'd like grab and then expect nothing to be in my teeth. So that's a consideration if you're on the go at like a work setting or something. The flavor is just okay for me. This doesn't really taste particularly chocolatey in my opinion. I definitely can taste all of like the different nut flavors. So that's cool. This definitely tastes like a health bar. Like I wouldn't pick this for its taste. I, I'm still, I'm still chewing. And that was one bite. That was like a small bite. Based on the chewiness, that, that there's so many nuts in here, that the nuts are now in my teeth, uh, it's a little bit sticky, and it's not particularly tasty to me, I probably wouldn't choose to purchase this one to have on hand. The next bar is the Paleo Ranch Cinnamon Raisin Mega Bar. It contains collagen. It's made with non-GMO ingredients, certified gluten-free, soy-free, dairy-free, and grain-free. Okay. Oh, and 10% of profits are donated to animal charities. One serving size is one bar. There are 290 calories calories per bar, 120 calories from fat, total fat is 13 grams, saturated fat is 2 grams, and trans fat is 0 grams. The total carbohydrate is 35 grams. It's got 6 grams of fiber, 25 grams of sugar, wow, and 15 grams of protein. It contains dates, sunflower seeds, almonds, raisins, egg white protein, cage-free, apple fiber, hydrolyzed collagen, sesame seeds, coconut oil, water, and cinnamon. Let's Let's give this one a try. <laughs> Guys, 
know what to say. Okay, let's start. Uh, let's start with the texture of this. The texture I actually do like better than the last bar. There are little tiny bits of some nuts in here, um, but it's a little easier to chew. It's not quite so sticky and although I do feel like there is definitely stuff happening in my teeth right now it's not as aggressive as the last bar as far as the taste goes I don't like it I don't like that at all mm -mm. Oh, ah. there's definitely a cinnamon component here apple fiber almonds raisins so I can definitely taste that all the things that are in this are actually in it it doesn't smell very good either and I promise you this is not bad I checked the date on it I can't tell you what that is guys kind of sour I don't like that one at all I would not eat this mm -mm. I had high hopes but no go Ugh. Ugh. I love to get that taste out of my mouth Ooh. next up is the paleo hero primal slice it's nut crunch non-gmo gluten-free free from grains dairy preservatives and refined sugars one bar is one serving there are 382 calories in this bar 264 of them are from fat total fat is 31 grams saturated fat is 13 grams trans fat zero 22 grams of total carbohydrate 5 grams of dietary fiber 15 grams of sugar and 8 grams of protein the first ingredient is almond meal, organic raw honey, virgin organic coconut oil, slivered almonds, uh, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, organic dried apples, shredded coconut, and vanilla extract. Why paleo? It's not a diet, it's a lifestyle. Uh, How do you know if it's paleo? Simple. If a caveman or woman would have eaten it, then it's paleo. Let's see. I feel like I'm afraid after that last one. Yeah. Taste that honey. Mm. I think I need a bigger bite. Um. This one's interesting. I don't have to spit it out, so that's a good sign. It's it's got a lot of like little bits and pieces in here. Like a lot. I don't know if you can see that, but a lot is happening in this bar. There's a lot to chew on. It's like if there were a cake made of seeds and nuts, then this would be it. You can definitely taste the almonds. If you're okay with honey being a pretty dominant flavor, then you might be okay with this. For me, this is actually a little bit too sweet because there is so much honey coming right at you. That being said, you know, it's not bad. In terms of taste, this one is my favorite so far. That being said, I'm not crazy about the taste. It's just better than the last two. The fourth and final bar is the Caveman Dark Chocolate Almond Coconut Nutrition Bar. Now this is paleo inspired. I don't know what that really means. Dairy free, gluten free, no peanuts, non-GMO. One bar is the serving size, 220 calories total. 130 calories from fat. Total fat is 14 grams with five grams of saturated fat and zero trans fat. Total carbohydrate is 18 grams. It has three grams of fiber, 11 grams of sugar, and five grams of protein. The ingredients are as follows. Almonds, sunflower seeds, organic tapioca syrup, cocoa coating, which contains a bunch of things, coconut, organic agave syrup, sesame seeds, honey, cashews, natural flavor, sea salt. Let's try this. There's still so many seeds in all of these. Seeds and nuts just like needing some floss right now. This one, <coughs> I'm literally choking on almonds right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many seeds in my mouth right now. As far as the flavor goes, this one is my favorite. Of course, I love chocolate. Chocolate definitely helps. There's definitely a coconut flavor happening here, which I like a lot. As far as the texture goes, again, so much happening, so much to chew on. You can see like what it looks like. There's like a lot of little seeds and stuff. So it, it definitely is like a crunchier bar, not so chewy, although it does require a lot of chewing to chew all those nuts up. Let me put it this way. None of these are the best bars that I've ever had. This one is the best tasting to me and probably my favorite in terms of the texture. I have to say, I don't love any of these enough to eat them on a regular basis or really keep around or prioritize. That said, I think that the value of a review like this 
isn't for me to tell you like this one wins or that one wins. It's here are the nutritional facts. Here's my opinion on their taste and texture. Then you pick what you want to prioritize the most. If you're prioritizing protein, for example, this one wouldn't be for you because it has the lowest protein of all the ones that I've tried today. If you're prioritizing taste and texture, maybe this would be it. So you have to pick and choose. And of course, you're going to know what's best for you. Okay, guys, those are my thoughts on the four four <laughs> paleo bars that I tried today. I hope that you found this valuable. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, you can of course like it on YouTube, share it out with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. I'm putting out new videos every Monday, and if you subscribe, then you will never miss a Monday. Thanks for your time today, and I will see you for the next video.